Well, hello everyone. Um, you can see Joshua and Woolly, but you can't see me, but they're very excited because they wanted to show you their new colouring book. Here it is. And it's called The Stations of the Cross, a colouring book. So, well, they wanted to tell you all of the pictures that are in this because this tells the story of Jesus when he went on the road to Calvary and died on the cross for us. So, oh look, there's the first station of the cross. That's showing Jesus is condemned to death. Well, there's quite a lot of colouring to going on that one. Pontius Pilate and Jesus there. <clears throat> and then we've got the second station of the cross where Jesus falls for the first time. Yeah, we'll be colouring that one in as well. The third station of the cross where Jesus falls for the first time. And then the fourth station of the cross where Jesus meets his mother. Yes, it would have been very sad for him, wouldn't it? Well, show the children. You can look as well. The fifth station of the cross. Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus carry the cross. Yes, that was very kind of him to help. And it's very kind of Veronica who wiped the face of Jesus. These are all stations of the cross. The seventh station of the cross. Jesus falls a second time. It would have been very heavy, the cross. And then the eighth station of the, of the cross, Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. And the ninth station of the cross, Jesus falls the third time. And then the tenth station of the cross, Jesus is stripped of his garments. And then the eleventh station of the cross, Jesus is nailed to the cross. And then we've got the twelfth station of the cross, Jesus dies on the cross. And then we've got the 13th station of the cross. Jesus is taken down from the cross. And then we've got the 14th station of the cross. Jesus is laid in the tomb. Oh, and then this one at the end has about Jesus rising from the dead on Easter Sunday. But at the moment we're concentrating on <clears throat> the stations of the cross. And the idea, well normally you see these pictures in churches. We normally see them in churches because uh, in medieval times when it was too dangerous to go to Jerusalem to walk the way of the cross in Jerusalem, which I've had the privilege to do, then people would look at these pictures and when they looked at the pictures, they would imagine walking with Jesus. And there was an understanding in the Jewish tradition that if you looked to the picture, the idea was you were going to, you meant to lean so, you went to so involved in the picture that you were actually there. So, well, yes, we could draw you both in the picture, but I, I'm not sure whether that would work, is it? So, um, we're going to, I think what we're going to do is we're going to colour these pictures in. Uh, no, we're not using paints, because last time you had blue hair and Woolly went to puppet school, uh, covered in green wool so it took ages for you to get clean again so we're going to use coloured pencils and we're going to start colouring and whilst we're colouring we're going to make this a special prayer so you might be doing some pictures of the stations of the cross and as you do then imagine that you're in the picture I can see you both in the background you could be up on the hill looking in and as you say with prayer imagine what it must have felt like for Jesus and then when we've finished this one, then we'll work on the next one. And we'll make that a prayer with our colouring in. There are a lot, aren't there? Yes, there's 40. Well, what we could do is we could, we could share out the pictures. I bet the children are doing this at school, actually. They sh we could share out the pictures with all of our friends. Well, there's Zig and there's Zag and there's Brother Ted. And then we've got Dave or the Wombat and Puggle. The echidna, they could help now as well. They could, we could all work together and make these beautiful pictures. So, for all of you who are working on the Stations of the Cross, let's remember when we do this, it's like we're looking right into and being in the picture. And when we're making these pictures, then we can make that a prayer. And when we're looking at the pictures, we make that a prayer as well. So I hope you all do a good job with your Stations of the Cross. We've got a lot of colouring in to do.